nous sommes ce soir Sangeons le monde en grandes assemblées Les tapis sont bien en priorité Pour vu qu'elle place à l'Amérique Les gens qui viennent ici sont les gens de l'enforcement They are the ones that stand outside of needle exchange programs, methadone programs, and arrest people. They are the ones that are going after young kids uh, looking for half a gram of uh, cannabis. I'm very disappointed harm reduction isn't in there. It is absolute nonsense that all parts of the United Nations directly support a set of activities and one part of the United Nations opposes it. It's ridiculous, it's untenable and it must be put right. For us harm reduction is important because it symbolizes a whole route of working with drug users that at this moment is excluded. We have drug prevention, people not using drugs, drug treatment for people who want to stop using drugs, but people who use drugs are excluded and harm reduction is incredibly important because it means that we can include people who use drugs in drug services and that they can have a certain autonomy over their own lives. It's important for the EU as well as the Commission to uh, uh, include this because it is part of the uh, EU strategy on drugs. It's in there, the word is in there, the concept and the activity is in there. Uh, it has been in uh, the last two EU action plans on drugs as well. So we were a bit surprised when um, countries began to try and keep it out of the declaration. There are many countries outside of Europe that practice harm reduction. Um, it is becoming increasingly um, uh, a preferred option to deal with drug problems. We have seen, uh, we've heard Iran, for instance, explain what it's doing. Um, you know, they have turned from being very strictly prohibitionist to doing harm reduction. Up to what point is, uh, going, uh, is the European Union going to defend harm reduction in the political declaration? Is but Europe united uh, to defend arm reduction policies. Thank you for your question. Uh, you know, I'll be very open. I don't care too much about the name. The content is, is more important. And harm reduction is a part of uh, the rational anti-drug policy based on, on four volumes. That's the repression, prevention, therapy, and harm reduction. And maybe you've noticed that even Mr. Costa mentioned harm reduction in her speech. So it shows that uh, the doors for using not, o not only the container but also the name uh, harm reduction is open. I think the, the difficulty around words being in or out, particularly these words harm reduction, I think for developed world countries it has very little meaning. Um, countries like the UK, Holland, um, no, Denmark will continue as they did before to apply harm reduction. The real challenge is for developing world countries that are facing new emerging drug problems. They're looking to the world for leadership, looking to the United Nations for leadership, and the United Nations is saying to them very clearly, focus on supply reduction, don't focus on harm reduction. And that is very dangerous because we leave the most vulnerable people in the world without the policies that save the developed world from HIV. And now this is a real contradiction. We're saying we've saved ourselves from HIV, but now we want you to live with the dogma that will, that will destroy your communities, that will destroy your healthcare systems, and will leave your people marginalized and alienated. The fact that this declaration is going to uh, come back home with no mention of harm reduction is going to be a real problem for folks in Russia that are uh, work again a country with very high HIV rates among drug users 
um, they are working on donor money. There is very little, if any, Russian money that's going into needle exchange. Harm reduction is not necessarily the favorite of the law enforcement in Russia. So I think what we're doing is we're failing with this declaration those people who are need our help the most. You go around the world and there are battles day, day in, day out in each country between those who want to treat drug users as criminals and those who want to treat them as people in deserving of health and deserving of rights. These battles play out in every country all the time and the symbolism that comes out of Vienna from not having harm reduction in the declaration will be used by many people around the world in the coming years to say we would like to help you but uh, we are just doing what the UN tells us so that is very bad and it must be put right. What's the reason or the arguing, argumentation behind this resistance? I think that harm reduction means a new way of looking at the whole issue of drugs and that is something that let's say the old thinking doesn't like to accept because harm reduction means that you accept that in the end there will be people who will still use drugs but you have to help them you have not to ignore them we ended with a very rousing uh, statement of 26 countries basically saying they refuse to go along with the consensus, which is, which is very heartening to see.